All right, so it wouldn't be in my house if something wasn't broken. Latest, latest thing, that. Anyway, I went to cook something this morning or heat something up. Doesn't heat. All right, so I took some tap water. You can see it's 71 degrees. I'm gonna throw it in the microwave oven. And we'll set it for like a minute and see if it heats at all. And the answer is gonna be that it doesn't heat at all. All right. All right, so let's take it out. We'll test it with the infrared thermometer and Womp womp. Didn't work at all. Same temperature as when I put it in. Uh. There it is. There it is. All right. Let's see. This has a little hole in it. I forget what it's called. But... I don't know why I'm not using a regular screwdriver, I think, because I bought this thing. I forgot to use it. All right. All right, let's look under there and see if anything's attached to the sides. No, so this comes right off. So the top. So the first thing I always do is, is I stick my tongue right on the capacitor over there. One, half my tongue goes on the top and half goes on the bottom. But seriously, all right, you don't want to touch that until you discharge it because it still has voltage. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's something nice and easy. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take that off and discharge that so I don't get hurt. That was on the top, contact. The second one that was on the top. Uh, the two, which I'm hoping is the problem right here. And then the white one's on the bottom. All right. So let's see if I can short this out. Now I think, I think if the capacitor was the issue, that it wouldn't even run at all. So I think the first thing I'm gonna test is up here. First thing I'm gonna test is this, which is the, like a heat, uh, what do you call that thing? I don't know. It's, it's a, like a, a fuse for the heat. If it gets too hot, it, it cuts it off. So let's take this off and we're gonna test this for continuity. Okay, now we test this. There's one side. All right, so it's not that. There's continuity on this. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the, these things back as I test them out. Now, there's another fuse over here. Let's take this out over here. This is right on the magnetron. Let's try a continuity again. All right, not that. check this fuse over here, which I don't think is gonna be the issue, but let's just check it anyway. I think the whole thing wouldn't work if this fuse wasn't working. So let's test this. That's good. Right now, maybe we'll be lucky and it'll be a switch. There's a whole bunch of switches. And they're all in that panel, in this panel over here. I'm not gonna do them right this second. I'm gonna take out the capacitor. All right, let's see. Okay, so what does this say? It says, 1.1 microfarads. Let's see. 
This one is 1.11 microfarads. So this one's actually good. But next I have to do the switches. Let's say the switches. All right, so I'm gonna have to take off this. This thing has all the switches in it. All right. Let's see how this comes out. If I lift it up and out. Let's see what's attached here. There's that. All right, there we go. All right, let's just see where, where all these switches are. All right, this one's good. All right. All right. All right, green is on the left here. Green. All right, that one's good. Okay. The top one is white, bottom one is red. Okay, bottom one's red. Uh, running out of stuff. That leaves us with this right here to test. All right, so I'm going to stop the tape. I'm going to read how to do it. And hopefully I can do it. We're almost out of easy repairs. All right, so I took out the, uh, whatever you call this stupid thing. Uh, I'll put what it is. It's like the rectifier thing. Uh, you turn this thing on to voltage. Red goes over here and you have to take a battery. I'm gonna hook this up over here. Touch this. Oops, there we go. That wasn't on the number exactly. Nine volt battery, DC. And let's see. Let's see if I can point it to where, it's, where we are. All right, going one way, it's 5.998 volts. If we switch the leads over here, we put this one on the positive. This one should be close to, it should be close to zero. And it's, it's almost zero volts. So unfortunately for me, this is good. All right, so let's go a bit downstairs. We'll test more fun things. All right, so I'm kind of following along a video at this point. I'm testing, this is the magnetron. And if I put these both on here, I'm getting like 0.2 ohms, which is low, but I think that's good. So this is good. I've got between these two, goes to 10. There's no short, so this is good. Okay, here's where we are. I took out the magnetron and I ordered another one. 
I have to believe that it's the magnetron that's the issue. So I put everything back together. I put the switches back together. I tested these switches and they were all, they were all totally fine, okay? I tested this, uh, this temperature cutoff. It had continuity. I tested this thing up here, had continuity. It's also a temperature cutoff for the magnetron. I tested, I tested the fuse, the fuse is fine, hence continuity. I tested the capacitor, fine, uh, checked out. I tested the windings on, on this, uh, on this, totally fine. I can't think of what this is called at the, at the moment. Uh, a transformer, that was fine. Uh, there's really nothing else it could be. The machine turns on. The, the, there is one thing it could be. It could be the circuit board. It can be one of these, it could be one of these, uh, like this small transformer. But here's what's happening. I turned it, I plugged this in, I turned it on, and I ran it on a low cycle. Now in a low cycle, what happens is you can hear it, you can hear the magnetron is supposed to kind of go off and then cycle on and then cycle off. I can hear it clicking like it's, it wants to go on, but just this is not putting out any, anything at all. I have no way of testing this. I don't have a, a thing to see if it's actually shooting out the, the uh, microwaves, but it's just not working. So first thing I did, I took the, the model number and serial number, all, all that. I was hoping I could get one for a couple bucks on, on eBay, but of course they have a thousand different ones, nothing like this. So I went to, to uh, appliancepartspros.com my usual go-to, uh, $145, and it's coming in a couple of days, we'll test it out. Now, even though, even though this tests the way it's supposed to, that doesn't mean that this isn't broken, unfortunately. So these tests, the test for this is actually very unreliable, because if this tested out fine, and it's not working, then what's the sense of even testing this? All right, so that's where we are. I tested everything it could be, and it, it's been nothing. So we'll replace that and see what happens. Okay. Big mad props to Appliance Parts Pros. I ordered this Monday night. It is now Wednesday after work. There it is. So I'm gonna test. I took out this old one of these. Let's put the new one in and see if it works. Two on the bottom. All right, maybe I won't screw this in. I'll just put one. I won't fasten the bottom. We'll just make sure it works first. One. Two. I'll do is I'll plug this in. I'll cross our fingers. Let's run it and see what happens. Okay. All right. Here we are. All right. So there's the water. That spot right there is like in the 70 degree range. All right, so we're gonna plug this in and run it and see what happens. So I took it out. Please press clock. Please work. All right, ready? Ten, 
All right, what's the chances that that's hot? Guess what? Guess what? It works. Okay, so this is fixed. Another success.